Greetings, my lord. I bring the good wishes of Moff Sarek, the officer entrusted with annexing this planet. He has been anticipating your arrival. Bring me up to speed. I would not presume to answer that. The Moff can explain to you himself. A good day, my lord. It will well serve the aims of the Empire to have so accomplished a Sith on this planet. I expect to care little for the niceties of politics here, so I will be brief. The Empire intends to use Alderaan's succession struggle to bring it into the fold, and I'm offering you the opportunity to play a pivotal role. What's the situation here? The heir to Alderaan's throne was recently assassinated, right after withdrawing from the protection of the Republic. The planet's in civil war, and for the first time in thousands of years, without the armies of the Republic to bring order. A divided world will fall quickly. Yes. We must make our move now, while the throne stands empty. We have an alliance with one of the noble houses, House Thul. The house was exiled 60 years ago after a failed bid for power, and came to us instead. Unfortunately, they have proven too weak to do what's needed. Do they need the fear of the Emperor put into them? Yes. Jorad, one of the Thal Lords, insists on following Alderaan's rules of civilized warfare. I want you to show him warfare is far from civil. Several of Thal's vassal houses have rebelled since Thal's connection to us became public. This cannot be allowed. Take a slave collar from my man here and drag one of these rebels to our weak-willed Lord Thul. Kill the rest and leave them where they fall. They will learn that the best way to survive is to submit. These lords of Alderaan must lose their foolish pride. Those who will not bow must break. What is... who... Uh, Crimar? Is that Crimar Novan? That's a free nobleman of Alderaan. Unhand him. Who are you? What, what's this about? <gasps> Keep them from rebelling and the Empire will not have to punish them. I, I, I told Moff Sarek that this was an internal problem. Um... All of Alderaan will be thrown into chains because of you! Silence, slave. The sooner you see reason, the easier it'll be. I, I've said before that being too harsh might stir greater rebellion, though of course that's, that's up to you. I believe that is up to me. Uh, sir! This spineless toad will make a poor lord of Alderaan. Yes. It will take work to shape him. I hope you will undertake this for me. I would like to make you the voice of the Empire in House Thor. Aid Jorad and his men in crushing resistance to our rule. Obey her as you would me, and with the same penalty for defiance. Tell her what must be done to secure Thor's hold on Alderaan. Yes, sir. Uh, my lady. What do we move on to now? I suppose the Moff expects us to take on House Organa. They're one of our oldest noble houses and loyal to the Republic. Until recently they've been without an army, but they've got supporters all over the planet. Uh, including here. You'll never find them. They've got top-of-the-line cloaking better than anything the Empire makes. No probes will get through, no spy sats, nothing. You are an imbecile. House Organa denied raising an army, claiming it's just patriots defending their lands. But their attacks are too organized. We'll never find every group. We need to get inside their planet-wide communications, and that means finding a base with a physical link to slice into. No Organa will leave your lands alive. That, um, uh, that's very Athara. But not entirely the point. The Organa guerrillas have a base hidden in some cave or other natural camouflage. 
There should be a master comlink there, guarded by their best soldiers. If you insert this computer spike, it'll give us a backdoor into all their communications. If we slice into their command center, we can avoid falling into any traps. House Organa will not make another move without us knowing. Impressive work. You can see we now have access to the Organa systems. They're all talking about the, uh, the ruthlessness and brutality of the recent attack. They, uh, they do train you Imperials well, don't they? Wars are not won by talking. Oh, you're right. We're going to be trying for the throne. <laughs> That's worth a little brutality. Now that we can monitor the Organa's communications, it should be possible to... Lord Thule, the base is under attack. Send aid quickly. Border outpost 2 under attack. I repeat, under attack. Perimeter defense is breached. We're under attack by assault droids. Repeat, a coordinated attack by probe and assault droids. Blood of the Queen. Sounds like you need a little Imperial support right now. Yes. Show those backbiters that the Empire stands behind House Thule. The data says all three border posts are under attack. Looks like a coordinated effort. Hunter killers and probes. All I've got out there is a skeleton crew. You're the only one close enough to reach them in time. Please, save my bases and bring me the memory cores from any probes you destroy. I want to know who's behind this. Good luck. Luck is for the weak. Thank you. Now hurry! I cannot thank you enough for your quick work. I don't know what the Organas were after, but that attack was long in the planning. It is foolishness to spread your troops so thin. We have not had outright war on Alderaan for generations. Our tactics are somewhat rusty. Who's the source of these? What were they looking for? And quickly! The programming signatures point to Lord Cedric Kilesa. Lord Kilesa is my vassal. He swore loyalty to me personally when we returned from exile. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. The parameters indicate the probes were to join an assault team in a... My lord, this program indicates an assault team massing in a tunnel between here and the Kalisa estate. I don't find any such tunnel on the blueprint. The siege tunnel! Blood of a queen! They're, they're coming through the siege tunnel! I need more specifics, not gibberish. There's an old tunnel between here and Cedric's estate. It was the escape route in ancient times in case of a siege. No one's used it in centuries, but the tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? You know this place better than I do. What's the best defense? Moff Sarek gave us cartons of thermite explosives. They take time to set up, but they, they pack a punch. If you take them into the siege tunnel, you could collapse it on Cedric and his army. Seal the access, so they can't threaten us again. You should have sealed it off the minute you went to war. You have taught me the importance of taking action. There's an entrance to the tunnel nearby. The storeroom is in the same area. I'll recall my troops to defend the surface, but there's no doubt the real battle will be below. Thank you. So, you're the Imperial puppet who taught Jorad Thule to bite instead of bark. Does he lick your hand? Fetch your slippers? Real Alderanians will never bow to the likes of you. Yield, and you may keep your title and your lands. I would sooner see Alderaan blasted into space debris than given over to the Empire. You don't even have the guts to fight this yourself instead of hiding behind a cart and a thermite. If you had a shred of decency, you'd settle this by an honorable duel. You against me. You against me. You surprise me, Sith. I heard your kind wouldn't know of honor if they scraped it off their shoe. A duel of skill, then. If you win, I will give my house over to Jorad Thule to use as he will. If I win, you stand aside and let me cleanse Alderaan of this scourge and tell your Imperial handlers Alderaan lives free or dies! To arms! I... <laughs> concede. You have the better skill. Perhaps it is Alderaan's fate to fall to the Empire. I will tell my people. We must find a way to live through these times. No one challenges me and lives. Then kill me. At least I will not live to see Alderaan fall.
Achilles just surrendered. My men are returning from the outpost to take them into custody. The Achilles are saying, you are a woman of great honor. I will tell Moff Selleck of your heroism immediately. I have won your place for you fairly, in a way they understand. An unnecessary luxury, but it did not cost us the battle this time. The Thals need not fear any further rebellion in their ranks. It would be a waste to keep one of our few Sith here any longer. A General Stunnel Thal is coordinating our efforts near House Ald. Speak to him if you'd like to take a further role in this conquest. You have saved my house's dream of ruling our world, and taught me much about what that will mean. I will not forget. <laughs> 